Welcome everybody back to the Euros 2020 on FM21 and today we've got a peach of a game for you. We're not going to be playing Spain versus Sweden. We're not going to be playing Portugal versus Hungary. We are in fact going to be playing Germany versus France. We shall see if FM21 gets the correct score as it was uh, just a couple of days ago with France running out winners 1-0. Of course, later on today, there is another big game. It is Germany versus Portugal. So let's uh, jump into matters. We've got the uh, few games to be played, I think, before this game. I think uh, Germany is the second game on at 6 o'clock. So let's jump over to that game and... Uh, Let's see how uh, how that unfolds. As it happens already, there looks like a game's already been played. Portugal 3, Hungary 0. Uh, Felix, uh, Ronaldo and Silva scoring in that, uh, in that win. We'll have a look at the group after all the results are in for today. And uh, we'll see uh, who's uh, topping the bill. Yeah, here they all are then. They're all warming up as we go straight to the kickoff. Uh, the play coming out. And here we go, a little bit of uh, windy pops then. Uh, the game's just started. I think we're on extended. Yes, we are. As we're trying to get uh, a feel for uh, what it's really like over here. And uh, Pogba just brings down um, a player there. And uh, I'm not quite sure who it was. Oh, I missed the uh, missed the uh, line up there. Okay, two minutes in. We'll get to that point in just a second. It's Alberta uh, Kvavinsky, Rachel, or Rical, as a... Uh, France do win it back now, though. They're coming forward. Dembele. Now, we are looking for a France victory 1-0. We'll see if that's the case as the uh, fieldman has gone down. He's gone down. It doesn't look good for him. As though we just pause it there and we'll uh, have a look at see what happens uh, just in a second. So, Germany start off with Storbin goal. They've got Alberta, Adam, Jungens and Endres um, at left back. They've got uh, Fischer and Wheeler with Rikel. Rykel in the in the middle of the park with uh, Savinsky and Appel with Schmidt up front. France, on the other hand, have got Loris in goal, Pavard, Varane, Laporte, Hernandez, Kante, Talisa, and Pogba with Dembele, Mbappe, and Griezmann up front. Right, let's uh, go and have a look. Well, what's uh, cracking off with this injury? Feldman's had a knock. He's been he's just picked up a knock. It's nothing too serious though, by the looks of things. Whether or not he's been substituted off, I can't really tell. But it's, it is France coming forward. Pogba played it into the centre. And there's a shot on goal. Storb easily picks that up. Alberta into Fischer. That plays it all the way back to Adam. Alberta. And Fischer once again. Rykel into Weller. Is that Weller? That thing could be Weller instead of Wheeler. No, it could be Wheeler. Again, I'm ass. It's not as great. The right is not that brilliant, <laughs> to be fair. It's not large enough. Uh, but uh, Apple comes forward for Germany. And uh, they've taken the lead 10 minutes in. It's not going to be the score it was a couple of days ago. What a cracking goal that is. So, yeah, the defy the odds. FM is not playing ball. Not today, they're not. That's uh, so a cracking ball over to the far side. Apple turning inside his man, Pavard. And uh, love this strike into the corner of the goal. The goalkeeper dived a little bit late for my liking, I feel. But uh, it doesn't really matter. It's Germany 1, France 0. France uh, coming straight back into the game. Look look at this. A corner straight away. And uh, it's headed wide. No really real danger there for the Germans. Germany leading the group. France fall into third. Portugal are third as well. Hernandez. Look, it doesn't look like the scores have been uh, updated. Because uh, Portugal have won again, haven't they? And uh, Pavard tries to have a shot. Another shot from uh, outside the box. And uh, nothing happening there. France. Now, with four, five minutes to go to half time, nothing's really happened since uh, that 20 odd minute um, attack that they had. So the game's whizzed by this half, especially. And Germany are uh, defending very, very stoutly, it has to be said. They're not really giving anything away. France coming forward once again. This, they're not letting up. They want to go before half time. There's the effort. There's the block. There's the corner. France to take it. Who's going to take it? Is that going to be Pogba? No, it's Dembele to take it. Cross comes in. It's not a great um, corner kick. And uh, Griezmann just runs it out. Not really sure if he knew where the line was, to be fair. But Hernandez. Piling the pressure on again. But it's been hoofed away. Laporte should be able to pick that up. Two minutes of added time to go at the end of the, of the first half. Varane comes forward. Pogba 
Mbappe now, he's been really quiet this game. Um, it has a little bit of magic, not an awful lot, playing to nobody in particular. France are really off their game at the moment. Uh, Dembele comes forward, a shot, the goalkeeper stumbles. He uh, manages to uh, palm it out to uh, for another French corner. Dembele once again this side and uh, again it's headed away. It's not very um, not very good corners coming in. The French are not attacking it. So with the France beating Portugal earlier on in the competition, it's Germany that's going to be um, two for two in this group as it stands. So uh, with France having majority of the game, majority of the possession and. Uh, having quite a few shots as well they're not really finding any way in as we kick off the second half of Varane he's coming forward there's no movement for him at all Pavard on the right hand side nothing absolutely nothing but it is Germany leading the group with six points Portugal on three France with three Hungary with nothing so it looks like uh, Hungary could be going home early on today Alberta for Germany a little bit of a change of uh, pace now or uh, whoever has control of the ball because it is Germany on the ball. We don't see much of the Germans on the ball today. They're quite happy sitting back and letting France come at them. And um, I wonder if they're going to go for the uh, hit them on the break um, technique. But that's not going to work. They're going to have to come out now, aren't they? Griezmann has just equalised for France. What a wonderful header. It's a cross coming in. Oh, the VAR is checking it. That is uh, that's a disgraceful decision. I don't think that was offside. We'll have another look. Griezmann. Did he move too early? Quite possibly. It's not the fact that he even uh, tried to move back. He didn't, did he? At all. So uh, it's still Germany 1, France 0. It's as if Germany knew that was going to be offside. France comes forward once again. It's a slight tackle by Dembele. He absolutely misses it. But he does win the second ball though. Dembele on it. And it's a corner ball. Third, 17 minutes to go. Not long. Dembele with another corner. I think they need to try a different tact and have somebody else taking corners, to be perfectly honest. As Mbappe runs down that left-hand side, he has been literally out of the game. I think they need to... Um, well, is that a chance of a penalty? Well, the referee's pointed to the spot. We're not sure what's going to happen here. It's not certain it's going to be a penalty, but uh, we'll have a look see what VAR will decide. It's a penalty awarded, so France have a lifeline. Pogba to take it. Twinkle toes, Pogba, is he just going to just twinkle up there? He doesn't. He smashes it into the left-hand side. Goalkeeper dies to the right, or his the right. The ball went to the left. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it didn't seem right saying the goalkeeper dived to his right. He did it. He dived to his left. But that is a that's well taken goal by Pogba. It's 1-1 now. France lead the group with uh, Germany. It's all going to go down to the final game of the group in that one to see who qualifies. But we do know for certain at this point, Hungary are going home. Ten minutes to go. Varan into Pogba. It is all France. France seem to be the team to beat this uh, in this uh, this year's competition. I have to say, it's a shot. It's not a very good one either. Very very tame. Just a couple of more minutes to go. I'm not sure how much stoppage time there's going to be, but France are not giving in so easily. Mendy to Pogba. Varan now on the ball. Who uh, knocks it out wide to Griezmann, who's still on the field. He's got a little bit of energy left. He's, he's running through. He's got quite a lot of energy left. After Lovely ball out to Mbappe. Mbappe comes in. It's gone in. And Fakir has just uh, put France ahead. Germany, holding on for so, so long, have just succumbed to just pressure. That's all I can say. The French have just pressured and pressured and pressured. And uh, it's just rewards with, uh, with all sorts of problems in that German defence. They've just got no answer for it at all. And it's all going to go down to the wire between Portugal and Germany in the last game of that group to see who goes through. But it looks like France will be qualifying as a group winners. Pogba. Are there, is there a chance for a third one, maybe? No, there isn't. It's a 2-1 victory. So the result is exactly the same, just a different scoreline as opposed to a couple of days ago, whereas France won 1-0, which could have quite easily been 3 or 4-0, actually. But uh, France once again outplayed Germany. Germany are in a little bit of trouble. Portugal winning as well. And we'll have a look at the other game. And Spain get their first win of the competition as well with a 1-0 win over Sweden. Portugal confirmation 3-0. And France as well 2-1. Let's have a look at uh, these groups now then. See what they look like. So, um, Slovakia... 
lead the group in Group E ahead of Poland and Spain with uh, Sweden. Unfortunately for them, they might might not be going home yet. It's still all to play for. In fact, even Hungary. If Hungary beat France and Portugal, Germany. Well, I don't. I don't think. Yeah, Hungary are going home. <laughs> Uh, and I think that's going to be the same with um, Sweden as well. I'm not sure if Poland and Spain play uh, each other as well. If that's the case, it's going to be a minimum of a point. And Sweden, if they get three points, they're not going to make it either. So Sweden and Hungary are both going home, unfortunately. But uh, at the minute, it's, uh, France going through to the next stage. But Portugal, Germany still all to play for. Poland, Spain still to play for. Right, if you enjoy that. Please pop a like on the subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. We will be getting back to the FC United and Sons and Saves once this competition is over. And until tomorrow when we play yet another game, thanks very much for watching. Thank you.